Alright, so today we're going to be making an oil pastel print of a bee. So I've started out with a photocopy, you can start out with an original drawing. And we're going to turn that over, place it on top of another white sheet of paper, and you should be able to see your drawing through it. If you can't, you can always go to a window and uh, do it that way. I'm just roughly marking out the edge of the image. So I know where it is because I'm looking at the opposite side of the paper. Now I'm going to get an, a black oil pastel. Um, I'm going to apply a really thick coat of black all within that shape that I've just marked out. Uh, it has to be a really thick black layer, not a thin layer, and try and make sure it's really dense and solid with no gaps in between. It doesn't matter if you go a little bit out of the area, but you want to at least make sure you've got that area covered so that all of the back of the original image will be covered in the black oil pastel. Notice how messy this gets. You get a lot of little black lumps forming when you're do using the oil pastel. Keep taking these to the bin, cleaning up your space so you don't get it everywhere because it can ruin your image later if you still have those hanging around. Okay, so I have completed that now. I'm going to be working on top of a background. The background I've selected is a photocopy um, from a Natural Forms book, um, so it's relevant to the image itself. I'm placing that original image now in position where I want it, and I'm going to secure that with some masking tape. It's really important that the image doesn't move during this process. I've secured it with two bits of masking tape at the top. Um, this is so that I can occasionally lift up the paper to check my image underneath without the risk of it moving. Now I'm taking a normal pencil and I'm carefully tracing over that original image. So everywhere now I press with the pencil and make a mark um, that will be transferred or printed onto the paper below or onto the lovely background that we've got there. So I'm taking a lot of care around every little detail. If there's texture, I'm following that texture. I'm not just randomly filling it with shading. Pressing quite hard is really important to get a nice, dense, thick line. So I'm going over all of that now. So this is the finished result. Please subscribe to my channel to see some more.